In Matthew chapter 5, verse 20, he told his disciples, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and the Pharisees, you will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. What Jesus was letting us know, my friends, is going to take more than knowing scripture, because that's what these men were always challenging Jesus with, the scriptures, the law of Moses. This is all they did was constantly wave at Jesus. Isn't it written? Isn't it written? And Jesus said, if this all you're working with on the outside, he called them whitewashed tombs. You look deep. You got that doctor title on you. You got that I'm the reverend on you. You got that I'm prophetess Johnson. I'm Apostle Moore, I'm Apostle Johnson, I'm Apostle Jones. You wearing the outside very well. But Jesus said inside, full of dead men's bones. And this is where my friends, many of us are nothing but actors. Oh yes, my friends, and we need to be passing out some Academy Awards because many of us privately, and I have known many, several, who committed suicide. They were doctors in theology. I remember the first time I ever heard this man in my city had committed suicide. I could not get it. I could not rack my brain on it. I was a baby Christian, and this man was the pastor of a sizable church here near in my city, or near my city, committed suicide. I couldn't get it. He, he had just finished getting all these degrees in theology. Why? Is it, or how, shall I say, is it possible for someone who is pretty much a scribe, studying the law, giving commentary, a lot of them are writing Bibles, but in their private lives, there is no death. They are the ones that are cheating on their wives, beating their wives drinking, smoking, and addicted to all types of sexual perversion and pornography. These are they who are consumed with depression and mental illnesses. But yet, when they come forth and stand in their platforms, they are the scholarly scribes. They know the word. This is what it is, my friend. 